I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. Let me thank all the subscribers and viewers for taking keen interest in my videos and posting excellent questions. The question here is, the area of a triangle is 5 and two of its vertices are A, 2, 1, B, 3, minus 2. Then find the third vertex in first quadrant which lies on the line y equals to x plus 3. Now this is indeed an excellent question and I hope solution of this question will help many others. Now when we say that the point lies on y equals to x plus 3, it means that uh, uh, the point should be what? So let me call this as C. Point C should be, if x is x, let us say, in that case the y value is x plus 3 x plus 3 and we actually have to find C with coordinates x and x plus 3. We are already given two other coordinates which are a 2 1 and b 3 minus 2. We are also given that the area of this triangle should be 5 units square. Now there is one particular formula which can help us solve this question. This formula somehow is not known to many of my students. Uh, let me give you the formula first. The formula is that area of a triangle can be written in terms of these coordinates also and is half of, let me write the formula first, x1 times y2 minus y3 plus x2 times y3 minus y1 plus x3 times y1 minus y2. Now we know the area this time, but we don't know the third point, x3, let's call that, right? And since there's only one variable x, we can always calculate this variable. So I hope that should help you to answer this particular question. I would like you to now pause the video, solve this equation, find the answer and then check with my solution. So let's substitute 5 for the area which is given to us, half of, let's take A as my first point, B as the second point and C as the third point, right? So x1 will be 2, y2 minus y3, that means minus 2 minus so that will make both of them negative x minus 3 right plus x2 which is 3 y3 minus y1 means this is my y3 which is x plus 3 minus y value of a which is 1 and now x3 which is that point c x value times y1 minus y2 which is 1 minus minus of minus 2 will make it plus 2. Correct? We can cross multiply write this as 10 equals 2 and now this bracket can be opened so let's simplify it first 2 times minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5 plus 3 times x plus 2 plus x times 3 we could write this as 3x now open the bracket minus 2x minus 10 plus 3x plus 6 plus 3x combine the like terms 3x 3x is 6 6 minus 2 is 4 so we get 4x numbers minus 10 plus 6 gives us minus 4 Now taking them together, we get 10 plus 4 equals to 4x and that gives you the x value as 14 divided by 4, correct? So from here, we get x equals to 14 over 4 or you could write 7 over 2. So that becomes the x value for the given condition. And once you know x, 
you can find the y value, right? So the y value is going to be, let's write down on the right side, y is x plus 3, right? So the y coordinate value is x plus 3, which should be 7 over 2 plus 3. 6 plus 7 is 13 over 2, right? So that becomes the y value. And therefore, we can say that the point C is 7 over 2, 13 over 2. You could also write this as chord in decimals, right? 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. And plus 3 gives you 6.5, correct? So that becomes the answer. Therefore, the coordinate points on the line y equals to x plus 3 will be 3.5, 6.5, which will form the vertex of the third, third vertex of the triangle, giving area of 5 units square. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.